All right, guys. So today I'm going to bring you a update or review, actually. Um, I haven't done a review in a really long time on anything. Um, so today I'm going to be doing the review on the uh, Jabo DP4 um, dosing pump. Um, this has been kind of like a, a hot thing on my on my video where I showed you guys how to program it. A lot of people want to know. Um, how I like it still because um, I made that video quite a while ago so um, I'm still using the doser and uh, I'll give you a look at the doser so this is the Jabo DP4 DP dosing pump um, I've been using this for I don't know how exactly how long but I've been using it for quite a while um, what, what to say about it it's been a very reliable dosing pump and it has remained very accurate um, every now and then, um, you know, my, my alkalinity, I dose a lot more alkalinity than I do calcium. And every now and then I kind of look over here and go, wow, that alk is dosing quick. So I'll take the cup out and, or I'll, yeah, I'll take a, like a measuring cup, this thing right here. This is what I use and it's got steps on it of milliliters and ounces. And I will uh, run it. And it's, it's accurate. It's, it's remained accurate and it works very very well um, it's still very quiet well not very very quiet but it's a lot quieter than my buddy who has a uh, a bubble magus I think it is um, his sounds real loud this one's pretty uh, pretty quiet you definitely know when it's running it's not behind a door or anything so um, when I'm sitting at the kitchen table or something I can I know when when it's running you know you can hear it kinda of going chit 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 but it's not overly loud um, I haven't had any of the dosing heads fail on me. I haven't had any of the lines that come with it um, get a hole in it or anything like that. No air bubbles in the lines. Um, so it's it's somewhat easy to program. Um, that's why I made that video because there's a couple of settings on here that were a little confusing to me and once I figured it out I figured um, I'd make that video on how to program it. Um, it holds the time and the date just fine. Um, you can manually dose things, um, you know, any one of the elements based on the pump. This one only has four, and then you can use a slave um, for the other four heads. That's why there's eight pumps here. But, I mean, if you want to manually dose something, you just hit the right or left arrow, and then it'll take you into, it says M-A-N-U, which is manual mode, and then you just pick the pump you want to dose. So right now I only have three elements that I'm dosing. If I wanted to dose a little bit of extra alkalinity let's say it's low you just go to pump one and then you hit the center button there and now it's dosing that's how loud it is it's not loud at all um, setting the time and the date and calibrating the pumps um, you can calibrate the pumps whenever you want if you're starting to feel like it's uh, not accurate you just hit the down arrow and it'll say correct pump and then you just choose one two three four um, for which pump head that you want to calibrate and then you just hit the center button and then you calibrate it. I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to calibrate it right now. Um, that's it. I mean, and then if you want to set the time, just hit the center button. It'll ask you to set the program or the date. Set date and time or set the program. Um, that's straightforward as well. You just use the arrow buttons to set the time and then you hit the center button to save it and then escape and you're back to the home menu right here where it shows you the time and the date. Um, somebody did bring up a, a good point that I did not um, share with you guys in my how to um, set this thing and that was the length of tubing once you get the pump calibrated to 100 milliliters that's where you uh, that's where you're supposed to calibrate these two is 100 milliliters and it counts the amount of revolutions it takes to get to 100 milliliters per pump head and every pump head has been different so um, the point was brought up that um, doesn't the length of tube um, doesn't the length of tube affect how many revolutions it takes to get to 100 mill milliliters when you're calibrating? And yes, it does. And I forgot to mention that in my video, so good catch on that. Um, you definitely, when you go to calibrate the pump, you want to make sure you have your pre-cut piece of tubing that you're going to be using to run from the dosing pump to wherever your your um, uh, dripping it into the tank. So you're going to want to make sure that you have that length of tubing cut already and then use that to calibrate the pump. 
But other than that, guys, I mean, this has been a, an absolutely phenomenal dosing pump. It, it has not failed me at all. Even when you cut the power to it, it um, holds the program. It doesn't lose the program. Um, you know, as far as quality, um, I'm going to say that it's um, high quality, cheaply made. <laughs> and I know that sounds kind of weird, but um, I mean, it's not... It's just really, really, you know, it's not even that flimsy or anything, though. It's just, it's just plastic, though. So, I mean, it's not made out of the highest quality anything. I'm sure if you drop this thing, it would be over. But, um, but in my opinion, the internals of it are high quality. So, that's it, guys. I mean, I really don't know what else to say with, to, about it, except this has been a great pump. It's a workhorse. It stays very accurate. And... It, it just works it just works this has been um, this has been a very very key piece of equipment to the success of my of my tank um, that that's pretty much it guys I mean that's all I have to say about it I really don't want to try to think of other things but off the top of my head making this video that is exactly what I think of this pump it is absolutely amazing it is a great 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 dosing pump um, would I recommend it to anybody? Um, yes, I recommend it to everybody. Um, the value you get out of this for the money you pay for it and, and the features that it has, it has features that, that you know, the $500 dosing pumps have. Um, you, know, it, you know, aside from hooking it up to a, an Apex, but I don't understand why you would hook a dosing pump up to an Apex when it has its own programming features. So um, this has been an awesome, awesome dosing pump guys and yes anybody who's on the fence about this dosing pump I absolutely recommend that pick one up um, it's it's a cheap Chinese product that works just like you know you guys have seen me run the the Chinese black box LEDs they do great they do absolutely great just because it, it you purchase it cheap doesn't mean that it's not gonna work there are absolutely things in this hobby that that is true you buy a cheap product it's not gonna work that well for very long but as far as Jabo I can't say enough great things about the Jabo um, dosing pump and like I said this is the DP4 and I can't say enough about the Jabo powerheads the their wave makers are absolutely fantastic so um, that's it guys um, that's that's my my I guess review of this um, if anything it seems like it was more of a little bit of an insight on the uh, on the Jabo dosing pump, it's great. Um, pick one up if you guys are on the fence. Get it. It's it's money wor well worth. It's money well spent in in my opinion for um, getting a stable tank. Um, one thing you got to do when you do get the dosing pump is you have to test every single day. This is what I did. I tested my water for alkalinity and calcium and magnesium every single day for two weeks. That way I knew exactly what this tank was consuming in one day. And once I found out, okay, this is about, you know, every day was just a tiny bit different, but I kind of got an average, and that's what I set my dosing pump to. And um, I, I really, really do credit this dosing pump to the success that I've had with uh, this SPS Reef tank. I mean, this is about, I'm going to say, 97% SPS dominated tank, and I... I would not dose these things manually um, as consistent as this dosing pump. So um, I really, really credit this DP4 to, uh, to the success of my reef tank so far. And I'm starting to dose the Acro Power. That's what I have in the third chamber here. And it has been spot on with dosing the uh, Acro Power as well. So um, guys, it's a very accurate pump. It's very cheap to buy and it's easy to set up. Um, if you guys do pick one up and you're having a hard time setting the program and whatnot, check out my video. Um, if I can figure out how to put a link in this video, I will do so. If not, just go into my channel, click the videos, and then search uh, the Jabo dosing pump. That's all you gotta do is search um, Jabo DP4, and then it'll pop up on my videos, and check out how to set it. It's very easy. Um, so guys, we will see you in the next one. I hope this helped a little bit. Yes, I recommend it. If you're on the fence, pick it up. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Later on.